associated with ultra-high field MRI scanners. The strong magnetic fields used in these scanners can cause heating of the tissue, which can be harmful to patients. In addition, ultra-high field MRI scanners are expensive and require specialized facilities and trained personnel to operate. To address these challenges, researchers are developing new techniques for reducing the heating effects of ultra-high field MRI scanners. For example, some researchers are exploring the use of cooling systems to reduce the temperature of the tissue during the scanning process. Another area of research is the development of new types of contrast agents, which can be used to enhance the images produced by ultra-high field MRI scanners. Contrast agents are substances that are injected into the body to highlight specific tissues or structures, making them easier to see on the MRI images. Another important area of research in MRI technology is the development of artificial intelligence, I, applications for medical imaging. I algorithms can be used to analyze MRI images and detect abnormalities that may be difficult to see with the naked eye. For example, I algorithms can be used to detect early signs of cancer, allowing doctors to diagnose and treat the disease before it spreads. I can also be used to detect abnormalities in the brain, helping doctors to diagnose conditions such as stroke, Alzheimer's, and multiple sclerosis. In addition to improving the accuracy of medical diagnoses, I can also help to make medical imaging more efficient. For example, I algorithms can be used to automate the process of analyzing MRI images, reducing the time and cost associated with manual analysis. However, there are also challenges associated with the use of I in medical imaging. One of the major challenges is the need for large amounts of high-quality data to train the I algorithms. This requires collaboration between researchers, clinicians, and patients to collect and share data in a secure and ethical manner. Another challenge is the need for transparency and interpretability in I algorithms. Doctors need to be able to understand how the I algorithms arrived at their conclusions in order to make informed decisions about patient care. Another important area of research in MRI technology is the development of molecular imaging techniques. Molecular imaging allows doctors to see inside the body at the molecular level, providing insights into the underlying biological processes that contribute to disease. One of the most promising approaches to molecular imaging is the use of targeted contrast agents. These contrast agents are designed to bind to specific molecules in the body, such as proteins or enzymes that are involved in disease processes. This allows doctors to see the distribution and activity of these molecules in the body, providing a more detailed picture of the disease. Targeted contrast agents have the potential to revolutionize the way that doctors diagnose and treat diseases. For example, they can be used to detect early signs of cancer, allowing doctors to diagnose and treat the disease before it spreads. They can also be used to monitor the progress of treatment, allowing doctors to adjust the treatment plan as needed. However, there are also challenges associated with the development of targeted contrast agents. One of the major challenges is the need for specificity and selectivity in the agents. The agents must be able to bind to the target molecules with high affinity and selectivity, while avoiding binding to other molecules in the body. Another challenge is the need for biocompatibility and safety in the agents. The agents must be non-toxic and non-immunogenic, in order to be safe for use in patients. 
Another area of research in MRI technology is the use of machine learning algorithms for image analysis.